All right, before I start, I, I probably should let you know I'm not here to talk about Jim, right? I mean, it should be obvious based on that introduction. By the way, thanks, Coach Natalie, if you're welcome. Um, and how many of you were here when I came in to do passing the last couple of years? One, two, okay. I'm not here to talk about passing today. I'm actually going to talk about something that comes way before any of that. So why am I here? Well, let's start with some things that you might be familiar with. How many of you have seen the movie Rudy? Oh, a lot of you. I don't usually have that many see that movie. That's the one with that individual who walked on the Notre Dame's team. What happened to him? Let's go to the 1980 Olympic hockey team. How many people you have seen the movie Miracle? One of my favorite films. Okay? Let's take it a step further. How about you remember the titles? All right, one more. This one's a little older. Some of you may be too young. Hoosiers. Not as bad. Okay. I still have a lot of you that have seen those films. And I don't bring those up just because they're true stories. I bring them up because the theme that runs through all of those films has a lot to do with why I'm here and what I'm going to talk about. Is there anyone in here that wants to eventually guess what that theme is? Because it's the same in all of them. Someone want to take a risk and raise their hand and say, hey, I know. Yeah. All right, it's an underdog story. That's a good Good example. So what you have, you, want, you have another answer? Inspirational. Okay. So both of those are correct. You have a movie story about an athlete or a group of athletes, like a team, like you, that are trying to achieve something that from the outside looks to be impossible. They're trying to beat the odds. Well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. How is it that that happens? How do athletes beat the odds? I mean, there's a lot of people who try, but there's so few that actually accomplish that. Some of you, I mean, I know you raise your hands, you know some of the true stories, but some of you may even know someone who's taken on a challenge like that that you thought was kind of goofy, maybe. Like, that ain't going to happen, it's not even possible. Right? Maybe. What makes the difference between those who do and those who don't? You see, there's a lot of value in the answer to that question. Your coaches and I believe that the answer to that question will have a lot of bearing on what happens to you this season and beyond. In fact, not just for this season and beyond, but for you as an athlete and as a person in your life. Now, you'll notice I've given each one of you a three by five card. Is that correct? You all have one. You all, anybody not have one so I can make sure you have one. And you have a pencil. We're going to do a little activity if you don't mind. I'd like you to number one, two, and three on the left side of that card. Now, I'd like you guys to take this, you know, pretty serious. So I want you to give this some thought. You're going to notice when I talk today, I mean, I go around with you guys in gym. I have a good time. It's fun things, so on and so forth. But what I'm talking about today, I'm very passionate about. It's got a lot of deep meaning for me. So when I ask you to write something on here, I want you to give it some thoughts. You know, write something down that you really believe in a lot. Under number one, I would like you to write a team goal for whatever team you're on this year, whatever it might be, for this season. Give me a team goal. What do you want to achieve as a team, whatever team you're going to be on? Some of you are freshmen and sophomores. While you're doing that, or finishing that, give some thought to a personal goal. You as an athlete, as a volleyball player, what do you want to achieve? Now, that doesn't have to be this season. This could be in the future. It could be in college. It could be your senior year. I don't know. Maybe you want to be an All-American in volleyball. Maybe you want to go to Stanford and play. Whatever it is, I don't care. Write something down that you personally want to achieve in volleyball. Maybe it's a 3.0 passer. Doesn't matter. Really, it's important when you write for yourself. Under number three, I want you to write what you think you need to make one and two happen. What are you going to need so that one and two goes from being on your paper to becoming something that is real? Now, while you're finishing that up, I want to clarify something I think it's really important for you guys. It's not something I'm going to spend a lot of time on today, but it's so important I need to emphasize it a little bit. I cannot say enough of how important one and two are on your card, your goals. If you don't have goals, 
Why are you here? Why are you even an athlete? You see, goals give an athlete direction. They give a person direction. It's a point in the future where you're going to want to be. People that don't have goals, they tend to go through the motions a lot. There's no direction. Now, again, I'm not here to talk to you about goals, how to set them, things of that nature. I'll be talking about different things that relate to them, but that's a whole other conversation. I'm here to talk to you about beating the odds. And for me to do that, I want you to look at number three on your card first. I need a couple of you to give me some examples of what you wrote for number three. What are you going to need to accomplish your goals this year? Anyone? Yes? Never give up. Okay, never give up. So keep that in mind. We're going to talk about that. Something else? Dedication. Dedication? Yeah. yeah. Patience. Patience. I got a lot from the back of the room. Anybody in the front? Faith. Faith. Extra lessons. Extra lessons. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, leadership and drive. Leadership and drive. Now, I want you to notice something. A lot of you have different things you wrote down. Now, that's a fact. You guys are a smart group. Every single thing you wrote down in number three, you're going to need. It's a fact. Plain and simple. You know it already. Right? I do have a question for you, though. Something I found in these last five or six presentations that I've given. Is there anybody in here that wrote something down about your skill set? For you as volleyball players, serving, hitting, setting, passing, blocking, transition. Any of those. Anybody write anything down relative to that? One, two, three, four. Okay, a couple, but not a lot. You know, I find that interesting. As I've given these, I either have a very small number or none. I get a lot of the things that you guys said, and honestly, they're true also. Keep that in mind as I continue this, because I think it's a real important piece that people forget. Okay, I know that there is something that comes before number three in your card that you all are going to need, and it's the same thing, and one of you hit on it with what you wrote. It's called inner will and determination. How much inner will and determination are you willing to bring to the table each and every day so that you can achieve number three and number one and two on your card? How much? How much inner will and determination are you going to bring to the table each and every day and apply to your skill set, improving that skill set? How much? It's a rhetorical question something you should really give some thought to. You see, to be very frank and very honest with you, remember the stories I brought up in the beginning? That's the secret. You want to know, you watch television, and you see someone do something phenomenal, and everybody in the newscast says, wow, it's just amazing. How do they do that? How do they do that for their career? That's how it's done. They bring an unbreakable and unbending inner will and determination that I mean, they're just persistent. They do. They never give up. Now, it would be great if I could say, seven minutes, presentation's over. You got the secret. Walk out the door, go accomplish whatever it is that you set. It's just not that easy. I mean, people can put a lot of inner will determination for a week, a month, but a season, a career, that's the difference. Now, my job today, at least how I see it, is to find a way to get you to really deeply understand those two words. I mean, if I had you flip your card over, I know without a doubt, I said, define for me inner will and determination. You all write great definitions. I'd be like, ah, that's it. So you know what it is here. But what I want to talk about today is do you know what it is here? The second thing I think it's important that is one of my goals today is to get you emotionally invested in the idea. Without an emotional investment, that inner will and determination will not last. It's got to bother you when you aren't working hard enough. So keep that in mind. Now, here's what I propose. I spent a lot of time doing uh, this, at least giving it some thought about what I, what's going to really make a difference for you, what's going to impact you. So I've got three stories. Two of them are YouTube videos. One of them I'm going to tell. Each story has important pieces about inner will and determination and about how it's applied to the skill set. 